dearest hamsakar walo today i had the most amazing experience which i had to record just to tell every parent that you have a right to get emotional to express your pain to feel whatever you are going through at that moment when you are told by whether it is the doctor or the team of doctors that your child might never be what you thought would be a typical child it's very very you know surprising that this young couple that entered my um, um office this morning and they were sitting and looking absolutely completely lost young i mean when i say young they he must be hardly 30 she was in her 20s and um, just holding this little baby and looking so helpless they tore my heart it just tore me to try to understand what they were actually going through at that moment which must have been very similar to what i went through when i was in my 20s and uh, but what was more surprising was that the woman seemed definitely more uh, you know uh into the uh situation and was ready to accept whatever was going to be told to her but when i looked into the young boy's face the father's face it was like i can't handle this i really can't handle it so i just looked at uh, the the young girl and i said can you spare you know just give us a some privacy so he and i can talk to each other she said i want you to that's why i brought him because he's not able to understand that this is our child and that we have to face whatever the challenges are so she walked out of the room with the little one and he just sat there and tears started flowing down uncontrollably this man just went on and on and on for about 20 minutes i looked at him and i said just go on just go on it doesn't matter i have all the time in the world he said i've been told even as a child that i must not cry i said they this was a very very funny thing for me because we still have this uh, silly notion in our country that men don't cry they don't express their feelings i said son you are going through what i can very well you know sort of relate with so please please don't worry about what you want to tell me or feel you have to get out of your system so he said ma only one thing what pain i am experiencing now is killing everything inside me i don't want to be here i'm looking at my child and it is tearing me to bits i don't know whether i can take it how do i solve this this pain that is inside me i don't want to transfer it to my family but i i can't handle it so i told him for the next 10 days let's just sit together we don't say anything you just cry let it let your entire body get rid of all the negativity that is inside it which you feel are the fears that are stemming from having a child with down syndrome and i honestly tell you that what you are telling me and what your thinking is going to imagine is going to happen in the future is not going to happen son it's not this is your baby and if you hadn't been told that this is a child with down syndrome i promise you you wouldn't have known it at all because this one is capable of so much so let's get it out and you know when um, people die in our families at least in the hindu families we normally take a 13 day break and we have mourning for 13 days 
I suddenly realized that that 13 days gives us enough time to come out of grief. Having a child who you imagine will never do anything, will never be what you have imagined in your dreams of that beautiful bubble that you have created, I know it's difficult. But I think everybody has a right to release all these pent up fears and it's so important, my friends, it's so important to get the younger ones or those who have just had a newborn baby to let them get it out of their system. I think all of us have all held hands. We have created a community for ourselves. We understand each other so beautifully and that you know, when, when we meet and the reason for all these conferences, these meetings is because we realize that nobody else outside of the circle can understand the happiness that we get by seeing our children grow and with each day that they are achieving something very, very small, very small. But that for us is the biggest achievement. I don't know how to relate to people and tell them that you know, uh, this child is going to bring out the best inside us. And I am so happy that Bubbly came into my life because in these 42 years, what I have experienced with having a child who is very different, she's different, that's all she is. And in her difference, she has kept us together. Honestly, let's all work together to create a better world and to let all these young boys and girls realize that there is so much happiness around us and not to feel, you know, low or that you cannot cry. This is one thing I, I cannot relate with. Man or woman, you have a right to cry. Please let out your feelings and we will put it together for you and we will support you, hold your hand and take you through the whole thing. God bless you all. Thank you so much.